Members of the Oyo State House of Assembly have agreed to a 30% cut in their monthly allocation with effect from April. Uh, the agreement was reached when the state governor, Shei Makinde, met with lawmakers at the government house at the weekend in Ibadan, the state capital. The slash, according to the lawmakers, is to assist the state government in its bid to pay salaries of workers as coronavirus bites harder on the global economy. The 30% deduction includes both the lawmakers' salaries and other monthly allowances entitled to them as state honorables. The lawmakers noted that they decided to take the step in order to ensure that the regular payment of civil servant salaries is not affected irrespective of the economic situation in the state. And joining us now to discuss this matter of salary cuts is public affairs analyst Zil Akariwe. Good morning, Mr. Akariwe. Good morning, Felicity. How are you doing? I'm, okay. I'm fine. Well, what's your take on lawmakers that at all levels making this sacrifice at this time, cutting salaries to help government fight uh, COVID-19? Um, well, <laughs> I think we should separate the issues into two separate things. One, I think the lawmakers are overpaid and their salary should be cut COVID-19 or not. Um, I don't think we should cut their salaries because of COVID-19, because if we do that, it implies that we're okay with the salary levels and after COVID-19, they will hike it again. I think that we should do the two as an excuse. We, should, we need to cut their salaries. And so I support a cut in their salaries, not for COVID-19, but because their salaries are too high. We can then say for this period that the salaries are cut, it would be used to augment what the states are spending to curb COVID-19. Mm. All right. Uh, in your opinion, well, they are taking more than enough already, so it doesn't actually make any difference, so to speak, if I get you right. They should cut their salaries, full stop. All right. COVID-19 is a good reason to push the argument. But if you say they should cut it because of COVID-19, then it implies that after COVID-19, then they can hike it back again. Hmm. All right. What more can they be doing at this time other than the salary cuts to help during this pandemic? Well, to be honest, they are lawmakers. Uh, there's a limit to what they can do. A lot of what needs to be done sits on the table of the executive. So the three arms of government, the executive, the legislature, and the judiciary work together, and they have different functions. Right now, this is almost entirely squarely in the executive. It is in the different MDAs working at the Ministry of Health and the state governments. Um, this is what they, what they need to do as legislature is to assist in swiftly passing the laws that are needed, which I believe they've already done, especially for Lagos State. So. There's not very much we expect them to do, except to lead by example. Uh, a few weeks ago, we saw a letter from the late chief of staff upset that the legislators were not subjecting themselves to quarantine and testing and uh, self-isolation, and they were not maintaining the social distancing that they should have been. So they should be leaving by example, showing that this is a serious issue we're dealing with. They all need to, when necessary, self-isolate or quarantine themselves. Let's talk about the issue of accountability now. During this time, we've seen, you know, donations coming uh, from different quarters. What's your position on the matter of accountability, especially during this crisis? Um, again, it's not going to be easy to know whether or not people will be accountable in the future. Given the, the nature of the contributors, I expect that those people will demand accountability. Going by the precedence of government, it, it leaves a lot to be desired. But I'm expecting when people put their money together, the caliber of contributors, I expect that there will be a lot of demand for accountability for the expenditure. Public Affairs Analyst Zil Akariwe, keep safe and thank you for your time this morning. Thank you very much.